Hey, what's up everyone? How is everyone doing today? Thank you all so much for being here. I'm excited to be here tonight. We're playing Nocturne, as you can see. Yep, it's Persona spin-off. That's what we're playing tonight. How's everyone doing? I'm gonna do a quick intro too before we start just to answer a couple of questions. Let me pull up my chat though. Ah, here we go. Who's here? Proper Jelly, welcome to the stream. Kid Kid, my dude. Thank you for being here. Pallet Drop, welcome to the stream, dude. Super gamer, uh, super gamer guy, of course, being here as always. Thank you so much for the support. The man himself, Jack Bros Remake, dude, 2021. Demi Crow, welcome to the stream, dude. Thanks for being here. Um, SS Band, welcome to the stream, dude. H2DK YouTube, welcome to the stream. Um... Heather, welcome to the stream. Hee ho. Thanks for being here as always. I appreciate that. We have Golden Playhouse. Welcome to the stream, dude. Appreciate you being here. The man himself, Katana Riku. Thanks for being here, bro. Appreciate that. Potatus. Tatus. Welcome to the stream, dude. Appreciate that. Azul Seer. Yes, sir. Welcome to the stream. Requiem. Welcome to the stream, bro. Playboy Sin. Welcome to the stream. Pokestar999. Jack Frio. Hopefully I'm not missing anyone. Pokestar, Mad Momo, The Club In, Jean, Cuts, SMT Fan, Dose Bear, Chase Boogie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much for being here. We're doing Nocturne today. Christian, Playboy Sin. I'm doing great. Thank you all so much for asking. All right. We're, we're ready to start. I'm going to explain... I'm going to answer one question first that everyone has. Japanese version. I don't have an English version, and even if I had one, I wouldn't be able to stream it. Because the embargo for now is the preview embargo. So, people who own a review copy, they're not able to talk about uh, anything after the, three, the first three hours of the game. So, this is the Japanese version. And this is the Nintendo Switch version. Playing with my little Joy-Cons today. It's going to be fun. Tonight's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, so Switch version, Japanese version. Uh, I just booted up the game, so I don't have any type of progression. We can start from the beginning if you guys want, though. Uh, I like I skipped the intro. If you guys want to see the intro, the menu, we can do that for sure. Um, as I said in my title, I'm playing Nocturne. I haven't played Nocturne in years. I don't remember much. And um, I'm here to answer questions. As you guys know, I've covered a lot of news for Nocturne. And I'm not done until release. I'll keep going. Uh, so if you have any questions, if you're uncertain, uh, any type of question, go ahead and ask him and I'll be happy to help. Hey, Peter Parker with the support right away while starting. $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Peter. I appreciate that. Really disappointed that this game is capped at 30 frames per second on PC despite being ported to Unity. While P4G, which was on the same engine, is uncapped. Very good point, Peter. A lot of people are bummed about that, especially for the Steam version. Um... You have you absolutely have you absolutely have the right to be disappointed for this. Uh, feels kind of lazy on their end, but at the same time, as you guys know, I read all the comments uh, on my videos. I don't have the time to reply to all of them, but I read all of them. And there was a lot of people saying that if they uncapped the frame rate for this game, it might have had some issues. But I'm really not a tech guy, so I cannot answer that. I know it's a bummer for a lot of people, though. So, all right, so should we start from the beginning? We should start from the beginning, probably. Let me reboot this game real quick and uh, just so you guys can see the intro and all. Welcome to the stream, Ellis, Rogue Demon. Thank you all so much for being here. Cap Cap, Brandon. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anyone. Uh, yeah, this is the Japanese version of the game, guys. Japanese version. How's the audio, by the way? Hey, and we have Demi Crow with the $2 super chat. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate the support. Got the first OST track done for the Jack Bros remake. You're really working on it? Nice, dude. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, so this is the intro. I think it looks really great. I might be a bit too big on screen, though. Let me fix that. Ah, here we go. Good old intro. 
beautiful 4x3 gaming, right, Techno? <laughs> Thanks for being here, bro. I appreciate that. The hype's kind of real for Nocturne HD, to be honest. Yeah, that aspect ratio. Oh. That's that's a that's a bummer to be honest. It looks it looks a bit weird. But if you guys have not watched some gameplay, it looks great. It really looks good. Like they they put some work into it. As much as we like to to bash them for the work that they did on this remaster, they still put some work into it. It could have been more. That's the thing. So. Audio is fine. Awesome. Awesome. Um, the DLCs, uh, James, there, there's some DLC tracks for SMT 1, 2, uh, 4, and 4 Apocalypse. Uh, they are the uh, exploration teams, so like Tokyo, Ginza, all of that. The good old exploration teams, from what I understand. So, Good question, Matteo. I think that's a question that we'll have a lot of times tonight. Which version should you buy? Um, I would say PC for mod support. The uh, modders are absolutely going to open that frame rate, so you'll have uncapped frame rate very quickly, I would assume. Uh, other type of mods, people like mods, so that's a cool thing that you probably will get on Steam, that you will get on Steam. Uh, the only version that I wouldn't necessarily recommend if you own a PC or a Switch is the PS4 version. Uh, the PS4 version is the Switch version, but obviously not portable, faster loading times. Resolution is the same thing, frame rate is the same thing, so... I'm a, I'm a big portable guy, so for me, it's Switch all the way. Uh, and Steam also interests me, but PS4, it's like, uh. So, yeah. All right, let's get into it. I'll still answer the questions while we're at it. So, hey, Junis, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you being here. That's awesome. But, uh, yeah, PS4, uh, Switch, they're not all the same version. So, choose whether you want to play portable or if you want mods, I would say so. And if you don't want a PC or a, a Switch, the PS4 version is a perfectly fine option too, obviously. So, yeah. I think it's going to do pretty well in uh, in North America, for sure. Play on hard? Oh, not in Japanese techno. Not in Japanese. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm all about portability too, Karen. Absolutely. Especially for those type of RPGs. They're so dope to play like on the go. It's like, man, it's a no-brainer for me. Some people don't care about portability though, and, and it's cool, so. So as you can see, it's, I think it looks great. I love how slick the text is and all. It's just a small thing, but I love it. Call me a simp, I don't care. <laughs> um, Kia asks a question about DLC. Do you know what price the Raido and Dante DLC will be? And if so, will you need to get them to play the Amalo Labyrinth. Uh, the prices, I can pull them up right now, but uh, the prices are different. I think from, by heart, I think like Dante is $10 US. Uh, I'm, I'm in Canada, I'm in Canada, so yeah, 10 bucks for Dante, so yeah. Some would call that steep, and I wouldn't blame them, to be honest, so... <clears throat> oh, uh, good question, the clubbing... No, the music is not a deal breaker. It is uncompressed. The reason why people complain about that is because the OST exists, the orchestrated soundtrack exists. So it's just a bummer that they... Sorry about that, that it didn't put this version in the game. But the uncompressed music still sounds perfectly fine. Like, you'll hear it. You'll hear it while we're playing, but I think it, it runs perfectly fine, so... And yes, Raido is free. Um, but Raido is not DLC on Switch, nor on PS4. It, it comes with the base... Uh, it comes with the base game. On Steam, though, you have to download a day one DLC, so... <laughs> そう。これで滅びの時にもあなたは生きる力を失う。それを信じて強く良かった。I appreciate that. I'll try to show you guys. I tried to 
add some type of counter um, on the screen for the frame rate, but I, I don't know how to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's actually my first time streaming on my Switch, so it's new for me. Hey, Mac, what's up? Welcome to the stream. What's this game? I think it's called... It's the, the remaster for P3. It's, it's Persona 3 something. I'm not too sure. So... Why spend 10 bucks for the worst character, Christian? Good point. Hashtag Team Rido. <laughs> Crazy how Sony did the... I didn't report on that. I might have... Maybe I should have. But uh, Sony... For the marketing campaign for this game, they put like the little featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series sticker on. They have that on their site, so you can print it if you want. Put it on your game. It's a cool little thing. It's a cool little novelty. Ah, here we go. See, I love the, the little menu designs and all of that. I think it looks great. Yeah, can't beat those little cartridges. No downloads, pop this in, and uh, yeah. If there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. Any questions, anything, go ahead and ask that. Hey, VC, what's up, bro? Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. Yeah, the growth on the channel has been amazing recently, man. It, it, I'm really grateful for all of you guys watching, liking, sharing the videos, commenting. Comments too, like that Persona 3 remake video. I was expecting much more hate than I actually got, so I'm glad. So here we go. I think it looks great. I really do. See? It's a PS2 game. Um, Sod, the frame rate issue is present in, well, in on the PS4 version and the Switch version. I assume it's going to be on the Steam version too, because it's definitely all about optimization. And no, I don't think they're going to um, fix it soon, unfortunately. Um, Jean, yeah, absolutely. I plan on buying the English version as soon as it drops. I'm going to pick it up on all the systems for sure. I cannot read any everything, so I might need help actually about where to go. I think we have to go to like um, the uh, Jack Bros uh, machine or something now. Yeah, I think it looks great for a PS2 game. The clubbing, that's a good point. I really do think it looks great. I think I thought we had to go to. Um... Yeah, with mods, they'll give it 60 frames atomic. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream, Atomic Adam, by the way. Um, so that's the overworld. delay yep I have to go to the hospital I do remember that uh, it's been so long <clears throat> hey that's weird my, my the delay is not great okay where is the hospital? I think it's east, isn't it? That was the train station. Yes, exploration music is dope. Nope, same, same place. <clears throat> Go to the park. Let me show you the 
you know someone will mod Joker on the PC version? Possibly, possibly. Yeah, we had to go to the park first, huh? And honestly, I'm super happy with the um the uh, English voice acting cast. Like, man, there's some very big names in there. I think that's gonna be very good. I the club and take care, no problem, dude. I no problem, Techno. I also I also thought we had to go to the hospital first. I don't remember, but we had to go to the hospital half after, so. We're really going by memory, so 100% I'll need you guys. Just replaying this game is so dope. Like, I was planning on replaying the game. Mmm. We're experiencing some little drift here and there. Um. Yeah, the, um, I was planning on replaying replaying the game before it got announced. I was, like, about to replay Nocturne on uh, PS2 back in June of last year, and they announced it in July, so I hold off on, on replaying the game, but I don't remember everything about it. Like, it's been years. I, I played Nocturne right after I played SMT4 when it first dropped. So, I think I played Nocturne... Probably played Nocturne in, like, 2014 or 2015, something like that. I love how the character models look. It was a game that looked super good um, back on the PS2, so it's not surprising that it holds up, it holds up pretty well. Heather, that's a good question. Do I think the DDS games will get remastered after Nocturne HD does well in in sales well if it does well i think there's a very big possibility especially since they're using a ton of same models in the game so and it's running on the same engine all of that they would put dds in unity once again and probably sell dds one and two together for 60 bucks hopefully that's what they would do so yeah i think it's likely especially if it does well even if it doesn't necessarily do well in the west i still think they might bring them over because it did really well in japan so all right, hospital. So hospital was top right corner that we said, right? Yep, here it is. That stupid face is over it. That's why. Oh. Wow, Christian, that's that's something that you don't hear too often. Rideout games are really good places to start, in my opinion, for newcomers to SMT. Wow, my Joy-Con is really tripping. Um, kid, kid, good question. Hey, David, do you think in SMT5 the open world will be in 3D and it won't be moving pinpoints? Yes, this music is juicy, by the way. Yeah, it is, Chicken Nugget. <laughs> um, I hope so, actually, I hope so. It would be great, especially since they have Unreal Engine 4 uh, with the game. I think they could do a 3D overworld and it would be good. It would be good. But I feel like they will... I don't know if they will do it, for say, because even the 3DS was a more powerful system they could have went with 3d and they didn't so even with like apocalypse so i don't uh, it's hard to tell we either, we either will have like more detailed maps and it's gonna be the, the little icon moving around or they're gonna go full 3d but i feel like they're gonna go with the small icon just like in this game to be honest um, Azul, that's a good question, actually. The Switch Lite, yeah, you cannot... I don't... I don't know if you can fix the Joy-Cons on the Switch Lite. I don't play much, um... With my Joy-Cons. I don't really use my Pro Controller. But, uh... Yeah. Alright, so let's go and see... Hey, Tails, hi. I was wondering the console... See? It's pretty bad. Um, 
Atels asks, Hi, I was wondering the console version has the option to turn down the voice acting volume. Good question. Oh boy, that's not gonna be easy to do with this menu though. I... I don't know, unfortunately. Good question. I don't know if this is something that they're gonna have. Hopefully. Tokyo Drift? <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my life Joy-Con's pretty bad. Yeah, I kind of like the little pinpoint too on the map. Ah, who's that? Yep, some textures are still low quality. Again, there's not a lot of work uh, put into this one. <laughs> my Joy-Con drifts more than my RS. I, I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe, Mac, maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Techno says it's possible to turn down the voices and sound effects. Cool, cool. So at least you have the option. I'm just going into the rooms because I know there's some chests in some of them, if I remember correctly. Oh my. I'm gonna get my pro controller. One second. It's it's way too bad. Alright, let me At least we're not going to have the drift anymore. It's going to help. All right, here we go. Hey, Helija Collins with the $1 super chat. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate that. No question. Okay. Well, thanks for the support. I really appreciate that. Thoughts on 30 frames per second on PC? <sighs> It's an RPG, it's not the end of the world, but uh, it's fair to complain. It, it's fair to complain for a game made in Unity to not run at 60 or at least to be unlocked on PC. So anyone that, that complains about that is, is fair. I, I'd, say it, I'd say it's a fair complaint, but I don't personally care to say, oh, the little Jack Frost machines. Love them. Love them. With the Atlas logo. Am I buying something? Yes, I am. <laughs> Which version will you play, Louis? Um, I plan on playing the Switch version uh, is the version that I'm going to play because I love portability. But I'm also going to check out the Steam version for um, mods. Mods for sure, for sure. Oh, Stephen was here. I love the like the running animation. It's so PS2 like <laughs> Yo, David has legs? Uh-huh. Spoilers. <laughs> ah, here we go. Um kid, actually that's kind of um Unity being a bad engine, I say, is like a misconception that a lot of people have because Unity is very cheap to work on, so it has its advantages from what I understand. Not a developer, don't know much about text either, so... Hey, Demi Shura, welcome to the stream, bro. I'm doing great, thank you for, thank you for asking. How are you? Oh yeah, I will buy an English copy because I can't play this. We're going off memory, like I don't even remember what we have to do after the hospital. Conception. Conception. Tokyo Conception, baby. Yeah, that, that's what I thought, Mac. Yeah, Unity is not a bad engine. It has its advantage from what I understand, but I don't I don't really know why it has a bad reputation. Like, some people gave, gave Atlas shit when they figured that Unity was the engine that this game was developed on. So. 
1977 Rider, welcome to the stream, bro. Thanks for being here. Running animation better than Fallout 4? Okay, possibly. I don't know. I don't play Fallout, so... Can't wait to play this on Switch. Hey, I want to know, actually, those of you in the chat, who is going to pick up this game on day one? Day one. Are you buying this game? I want to know. And on which system, please? Very curious to hear. Now that we know a lot about the port. Evos, good question. Do I know when we'll get new information on SMT5? No, I don't know. I don't have any type of insider information or anything like that. Unfortunately, I'm not that cool. <laughs> but... Um, Looking at every type of news, I really feel like we're going to get SMT5 at E3 this year. Nintendo's show. By the way, guys, because of your awesome support on the channel with watching the content, liking, subscribing, sharing the content, um, it gives me revenue, obviously. And uh, I was able to take off, uh, take my days off for E3. So I will have the whole week of E3 off work. So I'll be here at my desk and I'll cover everything second Atlas for you guys and we'll stream all the events or all the interesting ones at least so that's gonna be super exciting ring the little bell icon by the way uh, to get notified whenever I go live or upload or anything Hey, Party Poker, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Picking it up day one on PC. Steam on PC, pre-ordered on PS5, Switch, Switch. Okay. Switch. PC. Jason not getting the remaster. Okay. SMT5 can absolutely be at E3. Absolutely. Yes, sir, Super Gamer. We're going all in with E3. I'm real. I was really happy to be able to have that week off. That's gonna be awesome. It's my goal. Like as soon as I have enough revenue from content creation, I want to create more content. So I want to have like. For now, I have a full-time job. I would like at some point to be able to drop to like four days a week, three days a week, and be able to concentrate more on um, content. Especially since I'm trying to my best to cover news and drop vids like super fast when we have news. Uh, it's not always easy with a full time job. So I have the, the luxury of like having my own clients and stuff. So whenever something comes up, I can put everything to the side cover my news and then come back uh, not every day but sometimes that's what I am able to do so first ending that I got in devil survivor um now ending I think yeah good game man good game. Uh, Franco you know what I agree e3 for smt5 or it's pushed to 2022 yep this is where we're we're at right now. But Tokyo Game Show this year. Whether SMT5 is 2021 or 2022, Tokyo Game Show is gonna be fantastic this year. Hey, thanks for the support tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. If you appreciate the stream, if you like the stream, drop a like. It helps so much. You guys have no idea whenever you comment, drop a like, share my video, Twitter, Discord, anything, it helps a lot. Same thing with the stream, so. You would do me a huge favor. How is Atlas going to mar market SMT5? Or Nocturne AG? Well, Nocturne, we're seeing what they're doing. And not much. SMT5 is their next big thing right now. And Nintendo is pushing the game too. So I think we can expect a good marketing campaign for this one, definitely. SMT5 getting shadow drop. Hmm, I don't know about that. Uh, Matteo, no, absolutely not. No game breaking bugs. I'm sure you guys have all seen like the Matador cutscene. This is probably the worst frame drop that you'll get. Like, let me show you, actually. I'll pull it up so you guys can see, okay? The, the cutscene when the fight starts with Matador, from what I, I've seen, is the biggest drop that you get. Uh, let me pull up. I have. My boy Faz, of course. He covered that. Alright. 
so let me pull this up for you guys real quick. want to see it yourself it's it's fast um, on YouTube you can type it and you'll you'll find him okay see this is like the biggest frame drop that we get when you're playing this game Lewis good question I'll answer your question in just a sec okay see You'll see how it struggles. This is the PS4 version. See? This is not an issue with my stream. Like, it's it's struggling for real. So it's really not that bad, I would say. It really isn't. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys quickly. Um, yeah, so Lewis asked, are you having any preview for the game? Have you contacted with Atlas or Sega? I'm unfortunately not able to confirm anything yet, but they have my name. They know I'm interested in covering Nocturne. And I talked to uh, a community manager at Atlas West. So yes, uh, I might get a review copy for this game. Hopefully, I really hope so, but I don't know yet. But actually... I did get the confirmation from this same uh, community manager that they are not going to do what they did with Persona 5 Strikers with Nocturne. With Persona 5 Strikers, if you guys don't know, they only gave review copies to press, like, you know, IGN, GameSpot, a big journalist. No small creators like us, like all of us, all of the Megaton creators that you guys watch, Yali, Maka, Laru, Faz. Uh, Marsh, all of them. No one got a review copy for Strikers. Nocturne, though, I already know. I already know some people that will get it. So yes, uh, they will. And I actually, when I asked, when I asked the manager what was their plan if they were going to consider smaller creators, uh, she said yes. For for Nocturne, their plan is to get in a new audience that has never played Nocturne, and they think they're going to be able to achieve that by working with smaller creators. For Nocturne, so I think they're gonna go with uh, smaller creators, but I don't know if I'm cool enough. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully. All right. So now I remember we had to go to B1F, but I don't necessarily remember what we had to do next. We have the ID, right? She gave it to us. Yes, we have it. Awesome. Yeah, I, absolutely, uh, Steven. I agreed. Um, Switch. Absolutely good pick. If you don't care about portability, though, I don't see why you wouldn't get the PS4 version. I don't precisely remember where we have to go here. Hmm. Nothing shady going on here. <laughs> yep, Mako, good point. JRPG, I saw that he got a review copy. But be careful, he's uh, in Europe, so that would be Atlas, that's Kosh Media, I think, is responsible for the publishing of Nocturne in Europe. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, so he's not with us in the West. There's no co smaller content creator in the West that got a review copy yet, from what I have saw, so what I've seen. Imagine how hype it would be if you got a SMT5 review copy, dude, super gamer, bro. Oof. I, I, I'd be over the moon to have a review copy for Nocturne. If I had one for SMT5, bro. See, I love how it looks. You can see, like, the terminal in the back. It looks... It looks great. This game aged so well. Even if I don't get a review copy, I mean, no, no, Sega Europe is in charge in the UK. Europe is okay. Thank you, Mako. Thanks for clarifying. So, Europe is Kosh Media, and 
Sega Europe is in charge in the UK. It's kind of confusing. But I know, like, Sega, uh, Sega Europe and Koch Media, they're great. There's some very small so content creators that got review copies for... Damn it, that, that McDonald's <laughs> really hits right now. <laughs> um, yeah, in Europe, they're great. They're giving review copies. There's smaller creators than me that got a review copy for Strikers. So, yeah. See? It looks great. ジョジョ。消えてもらおう。<laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's saying any uh, <laughs> don't know what he's saying either. ない。恐れることはない。この世界の住人皆がもうすぐ君の圧少し早まるだけのことだ。愚かな運命に咲く。やめなさい。うん。Steven saying IGN when they're reviewing Doctor be like why is this person fine? Yeah. Hey, Kuga, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you being here. Oh yeah, I also really like how this looks. Like, I'm not trying to be a simp or anything, it's just that... It looks great, and to me, Nocturne as a game is worth $50. It's true though that, like, there shouldn't be any DLC for this game. Especially at 50 bucks, everything should be included. Even Dante. I know some of you are gonna tell me, like, oh yeah, but they had to pay the rights to Capcom to have Dante in again. Yeah, 100%. But at 50 bucks... I say it's not to the consumer to pay this, so... How do I convince my cousin to play SMT? Uh, you might not like what I'm gonna say, but make him play Persona 5. I think that's a good entry point for someone that is not into RPG, so... Make him play Persona 5 if he really loves it. Make him play P4, and if he really loves it, give him Nocturne. Give him Nocturne then, and we'll see what's going on, so... Um, Brick asks, do you think the PC port is going to be bad or else I'll get it on PS4, I guess. I'm kind of scared to answer that question because I want to say, obviously, obviously it's not going to be bad because a piece, most PCs are going to be way more powerful than a Switch or a PS4. But at the same time, Atlas proved that they're kind of struggling with PC development. Like P4G still has some issues to this day. Um, Strikers had some crashing issues, they fixed those, but Nocturne being an even smaller game, I would hope that there's not going to be any issues, but if you're not sure, if you really don't want any issue, I would suggest holding on to the game releases and see what's up. Because unlike the Switch and the PS4 version, we have no idea of how it's going to run on Steam, because the Steam version is coming out in May. It's not a, how in Japan, like right now I'm playing the Japanese version. Now we have to go to the roof, right? Yeah. Um, Mario, no, the Switch version, I'm gonna say that again, the Switch version is running in the exact same way as the PlayStation 4 version, except the loading times are a bit low, uh, a bit longer. Definitely not a deal breaker in my opinion, but it, the, the, the loading times are a bit are a bit longer on on switch now resolution 1080p stable 30 frames on switch stable 30 frames on switch and on ps4 so yeah thanks for tuning in tonight guys i appreciate the support over 100 of you watching wow that's awesome really appreciate that again if you love the stream show your support by dropping the like means a lot go ahead and drop your questions if there's anything else i should I PS5 doesn't get any improvements, uh, good hunter. Maybe some even s uh, uh, quicker loading times, but that's, we're talking like milliseconds probably, so. Resolution, 1080p, stable 30 frames. 
This game is not a hard game to run. A pretty bad PC can run knocked in PS2. Now, this is the optimization of this remaster that's problematic, that's causing the frame drops that I showed you with Matador. So, yeah. And when I say stable, I mean, it's not... There's no big frame drops when you're just walking around or it's just when you're doing like I figured I saw like some of the electric spells when you're doing like a Mazio on multiple enemies, it's gonna drop. And that's on all versions of the game. When Matador enters and there's all the flames like I showed you guys in a couple of seconds. Yeah, same thing. Kinda drops. Larue said frame rate is stable on PS5. Well, it's stable 90% of the time when you're playing the game. But there's certain scenes, certain spells on a certain number of enemies that will make the game drop. Uh, is Mara good to use in the Nocturne playthrough? Is Mara even in Nocturne? Well, he is, but I don't think you can recruit Mara, can you? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Again, it's been multiple years since I played Nocturne. <laughs> Dumb ass asks, <laughs> is the remaster good for first timers? Yes, I think Nocturne is a pretty good place to start, especially some of you guys will be triggered by this, but especially with the new Merciful mode, Free DLC, you get an easy mode, so if you're scared about the difficulty, I heard the easy mode is extremely easy, like, very easy, so absolutely a great place to start, absolutely. I would still suggest trying to play it on normal, because I think SMT benefits from a certain difficulty level, but if you just want to experience the game and not think too much during battles, you can also check out the merciful difficulty mode dude there's no shame to have by playing on easy mode yeah mara is only a boss fight don't listen to the elitists in the chat saying that you shouldn't play merciful is terrible nah nah but let's not start this this debate here i mean it's true that you have i would say a better experience when playing at least on normal but uh you play on easy if you want to. There's no problem. See, that was kind of an intense cutscene, and no drop, no frame drops. Perfectly smooth. Perfectly smooth experience. Thanks for liking the stream, guys. Appreciate that. You will have to download the Merciful DLC to be able to set it, right? Question from CRTNN. Yep, exactly. Uh, Merciful. I don't know if you were there when we start. Damn it. It's my last time heating McDonald's before a stream. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, Merciful Difficulty is a free DLC. Free day one DLC. So when I booted up the game first, I had the options of normal or hard because I didn't download the DLC. My big thing here is this game aged really well. And if you're asking to yourself, is this game worth $50 and you never played it? Yes, 100%. Yes, it's a fantastic RPG. And it's one of the best RPGs of all time, to be honest. So... Hey, Techno, that's a good idea, actually. I want to do a merciful No Demons run. That sounds great. That sounds good. Louis, David, do the SMT4 review, please. I don't even know why I didn't review SMT4 yet. I replayed it last summer, so I should have reviewed it. I don't know why I didn't. But I plan on reviewing all the Megaton games at some point, so... Just, just despite all the elitists in your Discord, I'm going to download Merciful and screenshot it. It's going to work, dude. It's going to work. Ooh. 
Oh, the demi fiend is here. With the infamous scene, of course. Akuma no chikara o yadose. Oh yes, Steven, good point. The graphics did definitely hold up. Ah uh, no, we're doing normal right now, Nick. We're doing normal. I don't I can't read and it's been years since I played, so hard mode wasn't an option. Rendez review when? Nine review when? I don't even have to see your name, bro, and I know who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> you can change the difficulty at any time. Oh, I didn't even know that. You see, that's something that I don't really enjoy. It, it's an option. But I would say choose your difficulty and try to beat it with that difficulty. If you change it in the process, it's like... Eh. Oh, man. Okay, where do I have to go? Can you save anywhere like in SMT4? I think in the remaster you can. Yeah, I think that's something that they added if I remember correctly. In the original game, no, you had to find a terminal. But in the remaster, I think you can. I'm sorry, I don't remember that precisely, but I think you can. I remember reporting on that. Which old SMT game would you recommend playing first? It depends on uh, how old. If you mean like under 2010, I'd say Doctor. Probably. Digital Devil Saga. But I think Doctor is better. better well, I don't know if it's a better game, but it's a better place to start, I would say. AO is hot, but this game is better than her. You said it! I didn't! <laughs> とにかく外の様子を知ろうにもお血を歩くことさえできんお前ああ、ありえない話東京受体本当に起きたのこのドラム缶みたいなオブジェにこいつは氷川の秘蔵の品と間違いねえあ、I <笑> Chief Sephiroth。<笑> Yeah, okay, so they were explaining the uh, terminals. Ah, here we go. So we have our sale file. Nocturne has a loyalty system. Nocturne has a Nile and alignment system. I'm Team Rido. I'm Team Rido. Demi Fiend chooses to side with the reason of Smash. Let's go. Man, it should really happen. Okay, where do we have to go next, guys? I don't really remember. Is there any other place where we can go? I love how Demi Fiend looks, too.
Uh, Kirin, yeah, absolutely. I think Nintendo has an exclusivity deal with uh, SMT5. Nemesa is hot. Yeah, Nemesa best girl. Nem I said Nemesa or Maya's great too. But oh no, Maya's persona. But she's not Neo persona. So does she count? I would say she counts. All right. All right. Ryder right would be the best guy to have for Smash because he's my favorite. Demi Fiend probably would be because he has the legacy plus he's in this game. I'd say Demi Fiend or the SMT5 protagonist in Smash. But funny enough, as big of, a, of an SMT fan as I am, SMT is not even my first choice for Smash. Like, the characters that I want the most in Smash are not Megaton. Hey, that's my collector's edition. See, that looks great. Love the animation. First battle, y'all. First battle. How is the frame rate? Frame rate, everything's stable. We didn't experience any drops yet, so... It's going well. Poof. A nerd. I personally want the SMT5 protag over Demi Fiend. Yeah, I'd like that too. I'd like that too. Uh, but Demi Fiend has a legacy too, so I know sometimes they choose uh, fighters to join the roster in Smash because of the legacy of the character. So Katana Riku, same. I want I want Crash in Smash before an SMT character. It's fair. I mean, it's fair. There's some characters that we loved for so many years. It's like. Yeah, I personally would like Phoenix Wright and Kazuma Kiryu from Yakuza with a Goro Majima skin. Oh man, I'd cry. I'd cry, nothing less. Look how good that looks. That looks good. How are you dodging every attack? I mean, good point. Woof. Haha, give me those press turns, baby. I don't think I even have a spell, though. What's that? Oh, I think that's pass. Yeah. Aw, oh, damn it. Did I just put a point in magic? <laughs> Oh, man. I assume that's a potion. Yes, it is. Okay. No, I'm not playing on easy. Stop. I didn't download easy. That's pass. Yeah, I realized that. <laughs> realized it the hard way. Cool. Yeah, 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 good point, Riku. I mean, it's a turn-based RPG, so no biggie. Gonna beat Lucifer with magic. We should try to recruit the demon too. Can we right away? I don't remember if we can right when the game starts. I wish. Let's try. Man. Oh, see? We got a little frame rate. A frame drop here. I noticed that. Um, it's going to be so hard to recruit. Oof. That wasn't a success. I can't. Okay. That's what I thought. You can only spam attack. I love how fast it is. Like, when you're done with the battle, it was straight up. Straight up. Demi Fiend magic build? Let's go. I 
Ah, here we go. Frame drops. That was a, there was a couple of frame drops in there. There's still some frame drops. Again, not a deal breaker, but they're there, so I'm trying to point them out. Okay, so we're back in the hospital. Do you guys have any other questions for Nocturne HD? We're casually playing through this, but uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Ah, I really love how Demi Fiend looks. I think it looks good. Ah, here we go. Mm -hmm. Pixie, hello there. Nee. This is the Nintendo Switch version, uh, Jared. Japanese Switch version. If you're wondering, it is running the exact same way on Switch and PS4, but on PS4, loading times are faster. Yes, you can join me, Pixie. Because we will need those healing spells. I think a harder difficulty could have really benefited this game. I think it's pretty well balanced when you start. Can I enter? No, I can't. Um, proper jelly, no. Yes, some demons can evolve, like Pixie can into. She can evolve into High Pixie, but not, not all the demons. Love the music. I'm getting excited. Oh, the camera controls with the right stick. Just like in the original game, right? Original game controls on with the right stick too. I don't know why I'm bothering talking with everyone. I always do that in my RPGs, so. Even if I don't understand, see? Ooh, that car model. Ooh! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, this is where you see that it's PS2. Where do I have to go, Roy? I don't remember. Uh... No, I don't. I think I really think this is where I had to go. We check those two doors. Is this it? Oh, we have another chest here. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, the original moves with the shoulder buttons. Wow, that's weird because DDS you can control with both analog sticks. So, elevator's here. Let's go.
I love how you guys remember this game by heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And we have a battle here, right? Yes. Okay. I remember mm -hmm. that. That's one of the first screenshots that we got from the game back in July. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Wow, thanks for the massive support tonight, guys. Appreciate that. Really appreciate all of you being here. Save. Oops. Too late. See? We're avoiding all of them. Easy mode, baby. Nah, we're not on easy mode. We'll have a spell now. Cleave, right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Karma. Um, okay, so that would be Gia, and that would be... No. Zio. Aha! Weak point, too! We have the demi feeling back at it. Come on! <laughs> Man, this is gonna be so dope to see, like, on social media's first-timer playing this game. Like, you know this one dude that was like, Hey, I played Apocalypse, and, uh, yeah, it was great. Tonight, I'm playing Nocturne. Yeah, my evasion is insane, right? Get those press turns. Boom, baby, let's go. So see, it's I think it's running pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. And my agility is base agility. Alright, then we can go back to where we were initially, right? <laughs> yep, so we turn right there. I kind of remember what's going on. I think, yeah, let's go. Yes, more Twitter, <laughs> Twitter knocking clips. I can't wait to see the reaction to some people playing this game for the first time. See, like the lighting effects here. Oh, what do we have here? Like the effects and all. It's I think this game or this people are getting are giving this game too much shit. The people are underestimating how well this game aged. I don't even know what I'm choosing here. Here we go. The game is coming out on May 25th. And if you have never played it, you should. You really should. Fantastic game. Hey, right, we're killing this. Oh, man. Oh, damn it. Uh, my first SMT game, SMT as a whole, Persona 3, and mainline SMT 4. So you could call me a new fan. New fan. Yeah, you could. But I played SMT 4 a long time ago, though. Almost at launch. Another chest here. It was explaining 
game mechanics. Okay. Crit. Hey, man, I'm lucky tonight. Oh, we have some backup. Here's my RNG. Uh, Rogue, no, I didn't bid on the Danganronpa 2 uh, copy, actually. I I got the first game and the second game today at one of my local game stores. I got a super good deal. Okay. Um, I'm not going to die, am I? Nah, we're good. See, in combat, there's there's some friend drops. We, we can notice the friend drops. Oh, I can recruit now? Okay, we can absolutely do that. I'm gonna show you as much animations as I can. Yeah, there's, there's friend drops in combat. You can notice them. You can notice them. Let's kill one, and then we'll recruit. Oh, damn it. And then we'll try to recruit the other one. Yes, sir. All right. Let's talk. Let's see what's possible, boys. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. Ah, damn it. Oh, no, he took some of my health. Okay, it's cool. All right, some more. Okay. Nope, he left. Damn it. I don't remember. Are you getting your, your life, your hit points back when, uh... When you, you level up. I don't think you do. Nope, you don't. Okay. Let's use a potion and keep going. Yeah, I definitely want to try and recruit demon. I think that could be fun. Where do we have to go already? Um... have to go down again <clears throat> yeah we can punch the go we can punch a ghost we can punch God oh yeah I did recruit him oh thanks for that that no I thought I did it okay how do I put him in my party nope that's inventory I'm not at the right place. B uh, or L? Oh, Lord. I'm really trying right now. How do I... Oh, is that what I have to do? Yes! Thanks, Techno. <laughs> Alright. 
No, no, no. I was on the first floor, was I? Yeah, okay. I'm not the right place. Oh, it's blocked. Let's go. Um, I'm, I have a pretty good, uh, pretty good team here. It's going pretty well. Hey, Matthew, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here, dude. We're trying to make our way through Nocturne here. <laughs> So we'll go down. We'll go down. Yeah, this battle team is fantastic. Nothing less. Thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. I appreciate that. So many ghost figures. Did I get some talking skills? Maybe I did. Um, two-sided tech. When the Western version releases, if I update my Japanese version, will there be at least English subtitles? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, there is not gonna word on them, is it? Oh, we'll, we'll try. Oh yeah, it works. Let's freaking go. They're weak to everything, right? Like that first idea is easy. Yes, the battles are random encounters, Ben. Probably should have saved before that. How do I save? Oh, we have a terminal right here. We'll go to the terminal. We'll do it the OG way. Yeah, Sebastian, no problem, dude. This is a kind of like a Q&A stream. So yes, absolutely, you can move the camera with the right stick. This is actually, this is how you do it. All right, let's save the thing. Yeah, they're random encounters. They're they're not bad though. They're not. All righty. Um. So we know that works. Sir. Oops. Oh, God damn it, that evasion. Uh, no, I don't think there's gonna be a day one patch that's gonna fix some type of issues with the game. Ah, here we go. Yeah, no, in this one, it's real random encounters. In SMT4, you get to avoid the encounters. So, but the encounter rate is not too bad, I would say. 
There's one enemy on there? Yeah, we're gonna full attack. Yay! No, they're not. I, I really don't think they're gonna add the option to uh, for, for uh, orchestrated soundtrack. That would have been in the Japanese version of the game. I'm I'm surprised that they had it like skill inheritance. I'm really surprised that they they went that far. Where do I have to go? Um. Phonius is the, the the first boss, is it? Yeah. We're basically just gonna um, explore the, the the place. There's this one spot where we didn't go. Uh, wrong direction. Hey, Eleven, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. How are you doing tonight? I should probably go eel too. What did I just unlock? Let's try it. Oh, analysis. Okay. Um. Nah, we'll do CEO. Boom! Yeah, I really need to get good. <laughs> uh, we can possibly defeat the first boss, yeah. I don't think we're too far away, so it's feasible. Not easy though. Not easy because I can't read for sure. And I'll remember everything about the game too, so. Alright, we should go to the terminal again and eel. We can eel at terminals, can we? Yeah, Fornius is electric electric spells. No, we're not gonna escape. We're not pussies. Yes, sir. Love how fast it is. Like before battles, you head in, you fight, you head out. It's it's super fast. Love it. We're getting full strength here. Oh, monks, you think so? I don't think there's that many games, at least for me personally. I look forward to Ace Attorney, the great Ace Attorney, the great Ace Attorney Chronicles, July. That's dope. That's exciting. Judgment Remastered comes out tomorrow. That's also exciting for me. Can't feel at terminals. Okay. There's RE8, yeah, that's right. That's a good one that a lot of people like. Oh. Ah, uh, this is where I had to go to Eel, right? Ah. Oh, I can't see because of my stupid face. Yes, this is what we had to do. Nice. Good thing we have Techno here. <laughs> Helping a newbie. Alright, so we explored this whole floor. How do we have the... All the way there. I love to explore. Like in Megaton games, you... That's why I don't live stream Megaton. I explore every single corner of the maps. I always do that. In Strange Journey, crazy stuff. Look, first... First... Person dungeon crawlers. It's problematic for me. Like, I see the map on my bottom screen. And I cannot leave some places unexplored. I like to explore every little square, so yeah. Um, which is greater for you, Neo, the world's end with you, or the grace Ace Attorney? Oh, I still need to play the first the world's end with you game, and Ace Attorney is like in my top five series of all time, so easily Ace Attorney for me. Always gotta check out the little Jack Frost machines. Yeah, compressed OST is kind of a bummer. Yeah, not a deal breaker though. Uh, 
which boss uh which, in which room is the boss i think he's on the second floor hope we don't get jump scared and we have to fight him kind of want to save and go in full deal that would be dope if we can beat the first boss without no resets Man, 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 this music. How would I feel if Danny Finn was in COD, Call of Duty? Oof. Oof. Not good. Um... He's on ground floor. Okay, so if I go up, that means we're good. As you guys can see, my memory is terribly bad. Yeah, the Digital Devil Saga encounter rate is, is way more hard on you than the Nocturne. Let's try to get her to join us. Yeah, take my money, girl. Yeah, take some more. Is she joining me? I think so. Yes, guapo. So we have a full team for our boss here. It's gonna be great. Uh, troubles with the frame rate. Good question. We talked about that a bit earlier. Uh, definitely not a deal breaker. Uh, frame rate. Yeah, there's some issues, but it's it's not too bad. It really isn't. All right. Let's keep going. It's obvious where he is because there's a safe point right before him. Okay. Thanks for the heads up, techno. Thanks for the heads up. Speaking fluent Japanese here. Good job, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing good. That's a terminal. Terminal room. Let's get it. Oh, we're an hour and a half in already. Nice. Level 5 Debbie Fee. Pre-ordered it. Nice, dog. Nice. Which version, though? Which version is the real question here? He will earn extra turns if he hits me with my Huapo. Okay. Well, that's going to be problematic, then. Oh, that's, that's where he is. Yeah, that's where he is. Okay. Uh, then if that's the case, what we're gonna do is, um, let me check out my party here really quickly. Everyone's full life. Maybe I should take off my Huapo then. Let's go in. Let's go in blind, man. I don't care. Let's go. Let's try it out. Worst case scenario, we die and we have to restart. Um, did I miss some questions? I can see a 60 FPS mod possibly happening, but don't expect it to happen like a week after release. I don't know, maybe, maybe ILS because it's, there are already mods for that on the PS2 version. So would those mods work on this version too? Or would, would they need a lot of work to work on this version too? I don't know, man. If Mac is still here, Mac can probably help. Bring it on, bro. All right. All right. So, Garu is not going to work against him, if I remember correctly. It's going to work, but it's not going to... 
It's he's not weak. To, I think it's gonna work still. Though. Yes. Okay. Cool. Don't want to miss before Pixie. Oof! The critical. Let's get it, bro. Let's go, man. We're killing him right away, man. Let's do it. Boom. My favorite song in all of SMT? Formidable Foe from Rider 1 is a fantastic team. Um, my favorite team. Oh man, that's a that's a very hard question. I really, really love Ginza, SMT1. I hold a lot of nostalgia for this theme, so. Hey, pull up that critical again. Rido, the Rido OST is super underrated. <laughs> Tokyo in SMT4 is top tier. Ah, let's go with that evasion, baby. Dante DLC is 10 bucks, though. 10 bucks. Hashtag Team Rido. Yes, sir. Boom. Oh, he was shocked. Damn it. Fierce Battle is legendary. Title Loop 2 is fantastic too. What's whack? 10 bucks for Dante? Yeah, I can imagine this being very easy in easy mode. Merciful mode. Uh, Miles, yes, this is the full game. Nocturne HD remastered, full game, on Nintendo Switch, but as you can see, this is Japanese. But I play too much SMT, so I'm, I'm still able to go. Let's try Cleave, shall we? Booyah! 35, baby. Let's get it. And then we get the shock, critical hit. God, I'm on crack. <laughs> Mabafu again. Yeah, yeah. The moss spells the the I don't know if you guys can see because of the stream quality, but I can see drops. I can see frame drops. I'm not one to complain about frame drops, by the way. It's not a big deal to me, but I know it is to some some of you guys, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Oh, we missed here. Okay, we definitely want to keep our pixie alive, so. Give her a potion here. Ah. You know my biggest issue with Dante is because yeah they had to pay the rights to get him in Capcom, but I think at fifty dollars for this remastered, I think it would have been to Atlas to pay this, not the consumer. But that's just me. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, the, the, oh, Avinash, great question. That's the first time someone asked me this. The frame drops, there was a patch, like I got this game at launch. It was way worse than it is right now. What you guys are seeing now is after patch. So yeah, this is Nintendo Switch, Kasumi. Nintendo Switch. New spell. New spell on Pixie 2. Yeah, the Matador fight is definitely like one of the worst frame drop that there is when the fight starts. I showed that when we first started the, the screen. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. $20. 
20. 20 would have been really low, uh, cool, because Angl Ang voice acting is expensive, so 20, I think, is not enough, but um, I think 40 would have been a great price for it to be fair for Atlas and fair for the consumer. 50 is a bit steep. 50 is a bit steep. We've seen worse. We've seen worse. I know it's not an argument, but... I mean, I can blame you. If you guys think 50 is too much and you're holding off, you want to wait for a sale or get it used later, man, go ahead. Dude, wait. It's, it's understandable. I'm a f massive fan, so... I'm paying 50, no doubts. No doubts in my mind. Like, that's... I would have paid 60. So, yeah, like Dog said, I don't have a problem paying 60 for remasters. It depends, I mean, everyone has a different perspective on money, so some people, for them, it's worth it, for others, it's not, and it's understandable. It's cool. What I think is dumb is the DLC. That, I think, is dumb. I think if it was 50 with all the DLCs, that would have been... That would have been a decent deal. As long as the game's good, I'm fine. Well, in that case, you're in for a treat because this game is awesome. Yeah, at least you have skill inheritance. That's a good point, Demi Fiend. I mean, at least in this one, you have this mechanic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. who do we have here? The man himself. F to Dante. <laughs> it's Rhino and Gold. Ah, the man himself. Let's get it. Man, Rhino's so cool. Is that Morgana? Alright, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Come on, bruh. I know you don't think it's Morgana anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, Louis, we started this, the, the stream with Joy-Cons, and here we go. Now we're on the Pro Controller. Yeah, my, my Joy-Cons. I mean, I bought my Switch day one. I went to a midnight launch to get my Switch. I was extremely excited. I'm a big Zelda fan, and I've been waiting for Breath of the Wild for years. So, bought my Switch day one, and I started to get Drift, like, two years and a half in. So... Decent, I would say. Decent. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to wrap things up here. Um, it was great. Very fun to chat with you guys. That would have been... that. That's the one hour. First one hour and a half of Nocturne HD Remastered. If you enjoyed the stream, drop a like. It means a lot. And I hope I'm going to get a review copy from Atlas West for this game. If I get one, man, I will cover this game before launch 100%. If not, I'll cover it. Up until launch and after launch as well but i might be a bit late to the party so we'll see we'll see they have my name they have everything so hopefully we'll get one now if you're new to the channel first time watching a stream or a content anything don't forget to subscribe ring the little bell icon to get notified when i upload and thank you all so much for tuning in tonight the support was great so thanks for your time y'all take care and